Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to sample into machine with just using the machine and your MacBook. Basically, you don't need an external sound card. Um, most of the videos on YouTube show you how to sample, but a lot of them I see that uh, they're using sound cards connected to their computer. You could basically use the uh, built-in input, but um, with this uh, free app, Soundflower, that we're going to download, it'll show you how to um, make your internal sound card um, act as an external. So first you're going to do is download Soundflower for free. All right. It's right here at this site. All right, go ahead and download it there. Once that's done, go ahead and open it up. Don't be alarmed when you open it uh, because there's no application window. It basically just shows you an icon on your menu bar. Uh, it's really small, so um, they only show you an icon with the minimal settings. And what you're going to do here is pick Soundflower 16 channel and just click on built-in output. From there, you're going to hit the option key, click on your audio icon, make sure your input device is uh, Soundflower 16. I'm sorry, your output device is Soundflower 16. Right now I'm using the mic uh, for the input. So all you need is really is the output. And then we're going to go ahead and um, open up machine and set up the preferences there. Once we're in machine, go to File, Audio MIDI Settings. Make sure your device here on the audio tab is set to Soundflower 16 channel. Pretty simple. All right. Go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the audio input. OK, so once we've done that, we're going to go ahead into our machine hardware. You're going to go ahead and press the sampling button. Make sure that your input is set to input one, left and right. Now it's uh, waiting for us to detect some sort of audio. So we'll go ahead and open up um, YouTube. Sample from there, and you can also, you know, open up iTunes, open up Serato, anything with audio from your computer will be sampled into here. So let's go ahead and I don't know, let's choose James Brown or something. Or okay, let's go ahead and play that and see how that works. Turn up the audio a little bit. All right, as you can see, you have your audio coming in just fine. And then when you're ready, you're just going to go ahead and press start. So it's recording right now. When you're done, Hit stop. As you can see, there's our file. And I guess we signed it to this pad. So, and that's ready to go. Now, of course, you guys can, you know, choose anything you want. Like, uh, let's say I like to use uh, Serato because most of my files are there. And uh, if I uh, want to sample something that's already queued up, let's pick a random sample here. And uh, we're going to assign it to this pad. Once again, we want to make sure our audio levels are good. So let's go ahead and sample it. Yep, looks good. Let's go ahead and press start. 
recording right now. And stop. Okay, as you can see, that's ready to go. So it's just that simple. You use Serato, YouTube, iTunes, anything with audio really coming out of your uh, laptop. And basically, um, you save time and money without uh, connecting an external sound card and uh, without buying one. So, hope you guys like it and uh, hit me up if you have any questions. Alright, later.